Recently, fintech has been driving continuous innovation in global financial services. As a recognized international financial hub, what is the level of acceptance of fintech solutions in Hong Kong? The Accounting and Finance Department of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University has launched the first fintech adoption index in Hong Kong. How did they come up with these research results? And what is the value of this research? As we know, Hong Kong is a financial center and it is also becoming the center for the fintech. So it is important for us to understand the landscape of fintech in Hong Kong. There are currently several surveys done on the fintech sector already, but they are mostly about the supply side of fintech. In this survey, we are focusing on the demand side. And what I mean by demand side is that we are studying why consumers are adopting fintech products and the reasons why they are not adopting fintech products. We are planning to do this survey over two years. We have done two batches already. The first batch was done in September 2022, and the second batch was done in January this year. So we have recently conducted a uh, survey on fintech adoption in Hong Kong. Uh, there are over 2,000 uh, respondents within our surveys. Uh, we divide our surveys into five different key fintech segments, uh, basically the digital uh, payment, virtual bank, virtual wealth, virtual insurance, and also virtual asset. Now, in addition to virtual asset, we actually extend the category uh, that is non-fungible token NFT. Uh, what we have found out is that the digital payment has the highest adoption rate. Uh, it has reached close to 91%. Uh, and among uh, all the fintech segment, we also find that 74% of the people has adopted at least two or more fintech segments. Uh, what we have also asked our user is the NFT adoptions. We find out that 26% of our respondent has adopted NFT. And among those 26%, we ask them do they trade or do they collect. And over half of them uh, do not trade uh, and they are actually collectors. So based on our results, we have two suggestions. The first one is based on our results on the multi-segment fintech adoption. We find that over 74% of our respondents adopt two or more fintech products. So even though in the fintech industry we have different segments, but from the consumer's standpoint, it is more important to have an easier uh, or convenience to use different fintech products. So therefore, we suggest to fintech industry or for fintech companies, if they can, to integrate different services into one platform and also for government to provide policies that can facilitate the integration of different fintech products so that the consumers can have a better and more convenient um, holistic experience. And the second suggestion is based on our demographic data that we collected. We find that there is some uh, gap in the fintech adoption based on age, gender, income, and education level. So we suggest to the fintech companies, based on our results, they can identify different populations or consumer groups to push their products or develop products that can better service these type of uh, consumers. Because at the end of the day, the fintech industry is supposed to increase our financial inclusion, not uh, to create gaps. And we also want to uh, provide recommendation to the government to provide subsidies or public education or other public um, government programs to promote the fintech adoption for these uh, minority groups. I hope our survey paints a clearer picture of consumer behaviors in the fintech sector, and we hope our survey results can steer the fintech companies and the government to better serve the consumers in the fintech sector.